What's up YouTube? I'm Corey. This is Offbeat Motors. Uh, if you're coming back again to see video part two of um, the intake air temperature sensor, um, welcome back. If this is your first time uh, checking in with us. Uh, make sure you go and watch the part one first. I'll have a link down in the description for you. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to test uh, out on the highway. Uh, same thing we did in video one. Uh, as you just saw, I was taping up the uh, shaker hood scoop and the Hellcat uh, intake tube for the uh, in the uh, headlight. Um, but same exact thing we did last time, but this time it's going to be on the hu highway with higher speeds. Um, it is actually warmer out today. It is 82 degrees. Um, it's a little windy. That's why I didn't uh, speak while I was outside. Hopefully that doesn't throw off uh, any alarms or anything here. So let's go ahead and there you go, 82 degrees, and my dirty instrument cluster because of all the pollen and stuff. Now the highway we're going on is just north of Dallas. It is uh, 121, known, also known as the, I think it's called the Sam Rayburn. Sam Rayburn? Yeah, Sam Rayburn. And um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, I think we can get up to like, I think the speed limit's like 70 or 75 on that highway, so we get some good speeds going up on there. So uh, again, we're just going to go uh, do a pull down the highway see what we're getting for temperatures, pull over off the highway. Obviously, we're not going to do it on the side of the highway. We'll pull off the highway, and we will uh, pull the tape off these, um, the scoop of the shaker hood. Uh, we'll do another pull down the highway, see what we get then, and then we'll take the tape off the headlight for the uh, Hellcat intake tube and see what we get with both of them together. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to yield better results than the uh, results we got in the first episode. Uh, we're going around town, but I think that's because also we're going to be going faster. So let's get right to it. I'll be with you guys in just a second once uh, we get on the highway. Up to speed. All right. So we're up to 122, uh, 122 degrees. We're not even on the highway yet. We're sitting at a stoplight. So I uh, just wanted to show you that to you guys real quick. And uh, we'll be back as soon as we get on the highway because we're almost there. Alright, so we're heading down the highway, we're doing 70 miles an hour, um, I got the crew set this time, because I can do that, because we're on the highway, and the intake air temp is sitting right at 91 degrees, so we're going to pull over and um, take the tape off of the uh, shaker scoop and see what we get on the next run. Be right back guys. Okay, so we got the uh, shaker hood scoop uncovered and the Hellcat intake tube is still covered. So this is the second test. Um, it's still 82 degrees outside right now. Um, we're in the parking lot, about to get back on the highway and we are at 125 degrees for the intake air temp. So this is test number two. So we're back on the highway. Uh, we're doing 70 miles an hour again. I got the cruise set. So that's good to go. Outside temperature still the same, 82 degrees. Um, apologize if you're getting a little bit of a glare because the sun's coming right in the, the, you know, we're heading west right now. So um, sun setting, it is evening. Uh, intake air temp, we are down to 91. Same result we were getting when everything was covered up. Um, so we are going to pull over at the next exit and we're going to take off the uh, tape that's covering up the Hellcat intake tube and we're going to see what we get now with the third test of having everything uncovered. Um, so it will be interesting to see if we get a drop there. I would like to see results to get this into the 80 degrees uh, but that remains to be seen. We'll find that out here very shortly. Be right back guys. Alright, let's get this uncovered and then we'll do our third and final test. Let's do it. All right, guys, 
guys, so here's the third and final test. Uh, intake air temp is 91 degrees. Outside temp is 81. Oh, crap. And we are still doing 70 miles an hour. So that hasn't changed at all. And we've gotten the same results all three times. Um, so I don't think it really has that much to do with anything. And I think this is why. Now, this is what we're going to do. Watch that air temp. Because we're just cruising along. Now, if I do this. See, it drops. And that's because the crack the throttle, the valve opens throttle body allows more air in more air coming in means it's rushing in faster which is going to give you a cooler temp because of the velocity of the air coming in uh, so a combination of all of that is what's going to cause it so kind of like what I said in my first video probably racetrack because you're on throttle off throttle all the time is where you're going to see the big difference it really isn't going to do anything for you around town and it sure doesn't look like it's going to do anything for you uh, out on the highway when you're just cruising along so Cold air intakes are best left for the track. That's where you're going to get your power, uh, which is fine because it's going to come in handy when you're doing your uh, uh, drag racing from uh, stoplight to stoplight or uh, doing some highway poles with uh, your buddy. So that's what we're going to come up with. That's where we're going to draw the line and actually down to 89. So I'm actually happy with that. We're in the 80s. Um, so really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the second video. I uh, hope you stick around for more to come, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow uh, Offbeat Motors over on Instagram. Catch you guys next time.